Hi my name's Lloyd, I'm from Denby Camper Vans and today I'm going to be showing you how your control panel works. Okay, so on the power management system, we turn it on using the master switch. This is the switch that turns everything on in this panel. From there, we can see time, we can select leisure battery voltage, temperature and water level. Now within them options you've also have settings. So through them we can now go in to set the time by pressing this button. Right there by holding, we can select the hours, we can hold again, select the minutes, hold this button again and that will set the time. Then we can go to the next option which is leisure battery, the voltage we can either have it in 12.2 showing the volts or we can press that again and have that in a percentage whichever you prefer by pressing that we can return the next option is temperature that has no other option to change it it's just the temperature as it is next we go into water level now within this option here we can actually set the water tank reader that will gauge itself within the water tank if we hold this button here It'll say calibrate sensor. Now we can press up and down to exit, or we can press the area button to continue. Okay, now we can do two. We can either do an empty calibration, or we can do a full calibration where the tank is full of water. For the easiest option, I recommend doing it on an empty calibration. So the water tank's got no water in it at all. We press this button, it's now calibrated to 100%. So now when we put water in the tank, it will gradually build up how much water is in there. The next option is settings. Within the settings, you can change things like display, sound, notification, brightness, firmware, it's up to date, but we can change these options. Now, I wouldn't recommend changing them because they're at the, you know, set, the preferred settings of what we like, but I mean, it's up to you, you can do whichever you like, but they are usually preset. Now we go down to the bottom, save and exit. Okay, now that is it for the options you have. The next on the control unit will be pump. So in order to use the water pump system, all we do is press the tap button and it says pump on. Now, if the tank has water in there, we'd literally just lift the tap up, the pump would kick in and water would run out. We can press the button again to turn the pump off. The next switch is another light switch. Now this, pressing this switch, at the moment it's turned it off because it was on for display purposes but if we press this button it'll turn the lights on your van and turn them off the next button is the down lighting above your sink we press this the light bulb above your sink comes on turn it off it goes off again and that is all there is to the control panel now there is one area where the master switch doesn't control anything and i'll tell you that now if we turn the master switch off Okay, you cannot use anything on that board except the downlight. And the idea there is at night when you wake up, you haven't got to light the whole van up. You can just put the downlighting on and it's not in your eyes blinding you. And you can turn it off. And that here's the control unit. And that's it, nothing more to it. 